I've been here at the ASH meeting for several days now looking at all the novel information that's coming out and it really is an exciting time um, both for treating physicians but most certainly for patients in terms of all the information emerging on particularly novel therapies for lymphomas. Um, many of these novel therapies have focused on uh, different lymphoma subtypes, but certainly for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, we're seeing uh, options opening up for patients that um, are very exciting. At this particular meeting, you know, there was an update on polituzumab. So polituzumab is an antibody drug conjugate, so a, a novel kind of targeted antibody that um, has already shown value in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Um, in a study where they combined this novel drug to bendamustine rituximab, which is a standard chemotherapy, it actually had very high benefit in patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And based on those trial results, it's actually been approved by the FDA. So we actually have had a brand new drug this year come on the market in the United States for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, and it's likely to become available in other countries very shortly as well. I think one of the more exciting things at this meeting as well is uh, an updated presentation on a drug called mosanituzumab, which is, uh, falls into a category of drugs called bispecific antibodies. I often think of antibodies as being arrows, you know, that they're targeted drugs trying to seek out the tumors. Bispecific antibodies are like having two arrows together looking for two different targets. So um, this particular bispecific tries to target not only the lymphoma cell, but also the body's own T cells, which are part of the immune system, with the idea of bringing the immune system next to the lymphoma to spark off an immune reaction. So it is a new form of immunotherapy. And um, there was a presentation yesterday at the meeting on mosanituzumab. It was in the plenary session. So it was you know, within the top set of abstracts that were presented at this meeting. And uh, in this particular study, they tested this drug in both patients with aggressive forms of lymphoma and indolent forms of lymphoma. And both types of patients had some real benefit and some patients had very prolonged benefit. So that was particularly exciting to see that data updated and, and may very well open up a new option for therapy as well in the future.